So Plagued Moth is gone for now. He'll be back, don't worry. But uh, yeah, Plagued Moth is gone, so this is a time for reflection. And one of the things I wanted to reflect on now is sort of how I became involved, tangentially, sort of, uh, with the YouTube commentary community. And this is something that I never really have been a part of, except for when all of this shit with Plague Moth went down, because, you know, people were asking me to be on streams, people were asking me this, asking me that, asking for evidence. And it's interesting because at a certain point I was sort of half-assedly trying to get people to talk about it, and then at a certain point the coin flipped, the page turned, and people were coming to me, <laughs> trying to get me to do things. So it was kind of an interesting thing there. But one of the things I came away with is there are a lot of small streamers and a lot of small content creators who are just blatantly lying, <laughs> doing a lot of crazy shit, uh, stalking each other, doxing each other, uh, lying about each other, framing each other, uh, having spats with each other, bilking each other, scamming each other. Uh, there's a lot of crazy shit going on, and it's all stuff that the commentary community could be covering, but it's like within the discords, and it's within, within certain you know circles, so it's not going to get to see the light of day unless something really crazy happens. Uh, it just is really funny. And uh, the people who do talk about it usually are the smaller channels. You know, there are people who do bring these things to light, but usually they're very small with like 10 to 20, you know, to 100 people watching. It's not going to be, you know, a huge person doing this. And rightfully so. It's petty, you know, infighting and drama. But the thing I wanted to talk about now without getting too much further into this is this dude named Queeman. Queeman's going to be our example of a liar. Uh... Something I very much dislike in what I've seen from a few people within the commentary community. Not everybody, but just a few. Now, Queeman is one of these dudes who's like, you know, I have an accent, so I'm interesting. And he's part of the subsection of commentary YouTubers that just basically uh, will yell at someone and, you know, bully someone and call someone names, you know, until they relent and, you know, then they win and they're right. At least that's from my experience. And, you know, hey, maybe I'm only experiencing the things where Queeman has acted like that. Maybe he's a peach of a guy in 95% of his content that I didn't say. But one thing that's interesting, and this all ties back into Plague Moth, again, you know, now that he's gone from YouTube, uh, TCR, that creepy reading was on the live stream recently about some other dude named Just a Robot. These are all names that you probably don't know, and they're names you don't have to know. Uh, essentially, everybody I'm going to be talking about is irrelevant outside of drama YouTube. <laughs> and... No normal person should ever, you know, know these names. But here we go. So that creepy reading was on a live stream with a dude who goes by the name Chud Logic. Again, I know you're going to be wondering who the fuck any of these people are. Uh, they have huge audiences, they have their own audiences, but it's circles that, you know, we usually don't travel in. And on Chud Logic's stream, that creepy reading was talking about a dude named Just a Robot. Yeah, so during this stream, that creepy reading. Uh, talks about this just a robot dude and says this yeah um there's probably a reason why he's defending um i, I don't think jar realizes that uh asking for softcore porn from minors is like a problem uh he's done that himself apparently uh okay, wait, wh what so what you just heard is tcr talking about a youtuber by the name of just a robot and Just A Robot was defending another YouTuber, I guess, called Cine Bear. And Cine uh, apparently groomed a kid in Discord messages and was sending this kid, uh, like, drawn pornography and different things like that. So TCR directly says, very fucking clearly, he says that he thinks Just A Robot may not have seen an issue with Cine Bear uh, trading images with a kid because Just a Robot had a minor draw him a lewd image, I guess. So it's very clear in what TCR said. So I don't know how anybody else could get some other weird, random meaning out of what he just said. You'd have to be a complete fucking idiot to not understand the basics of those sentences. Now, this Queeman guy, who's one of these, you know, like I said, a smaller commentary YouTube guy, he pops into the stream to be British and angry at TCR, and... Then he claims this. Of artwork from someone who was quite literally a YouTuber. 10 minutes to say that he asked a 17-year-old for a comic, dude. No fucking way. That what are you doing here, Creeman? 10 minutes to get to. That
That's fucking crazy, bro. I, I can't. And well, you well, frame well, it as well, asking well, a minor, well, like it's the same as Cine Bear's situation. They're 17, bro. Who gives a fuck? Okay, dude. Um, there's a lot of reasons to give a fuck. Uh, maybe don't be asking your fans, like, for pornography. Do I have uh, fans? Is this not just some retail in a Discord? Is this really a fan in the way that we think of, like, a, a Minecraft YouTuber preying on one of their child yes. fans? No, it's not. Is it retard? Show me that. Show me that. Show me the whole fucking manipulation that's happened here. If he just says in a Discord, draw Jaden animation sexy, and some 17-year-old draws Jaden animation sexy, sexy, that's not fucking grooming, dude. And that's not even anywhere near as bad as When the dude. fuck did I say it's grooming? Not even remotely well, comparable. Not even comparable. I'm it's not fucking. fucking I'm not calling Jar a groomer, buddy. Where did I say that? Like I'm saying, it's not even remotely here. comparable to Cinny. You were saying I wasn't he did it as well. comparing it to Cinny. Yes, you. Yes, you, you were. Are, you he did it too. You said he did it too. That's what you started us off with. That was the whole point. It's not even remotely comparable. Oh Asking us openly in the Discord, someone draw this, and a 17 year old draws it. Was it even oh explicit? God, yeah. Was it explicit? Man, Queeman got a lot of fake outrage mileage out of that. Holy shit. All of that screeching over TCR at the beginning of the stream, <laughs> making the basic statement that Just a Robot also got nude artwork from a minor or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, um, there's probably a reason why he's defending. Um, I, I don't think Jar realizes that uh, asking for softcore porn from minors is like a problem. Uh, he's done that himself, apparently. Uh, okay, wait, wh what? That's a that's a lot of stretching, buddy. You got a lot of mileage out of that one. Holy shit, what a fucking idiot! Now, I just played you the clip from the beginning of the stream, right? I just played you the clip where TCR said uh, Just a Robot may not see an issue with what Cine did because Just a Robot, you know, also asks for uh, lewd drawings, okay? So Queeman jumps into the call, reframes that, lies, and says that TCR was saying they were doing the same exact thing in general, bringing up grooming. And he says to TCR, show me the evidence of, you know, grooming as if TCR made that claim. Now, TCR then goes into this whole thing where he's saying, you know, I'm not comparing just a robot, you know, to Cine in terms of what they did, because Queeman is talking about grooming a minor, uh, all of these different things like that. To which Queeman doubles down on a stream anyone can rewind and continues to gaslight TCR so hard that Chud Logic joins in <laughs> and i don't think chud realizes this i don't think chud did it on purpose but he joins in on the gaslighting and the two of them are telling tcr he said something he didn't to the point that tcr apologizes and somewhere in there we lost the truth the truth of what happened and what was said is gone right before your eyes in real time live if you happen to catch it you got to see a commentary youtuber completely changing what happened to fit his own narrative. And this is one of the problems that I have with the commentary community in general. I've seen a lot of stuff like this go around where things are misrepresented, and sometimes people get called out for it. Sometimes there's self-policing in the community, and that's great. But other times people don't really get called out, and they just continue to do it for a long time until they do something else that pisses off their community brothers, and, you know, then they get ousted. I mean, look at Chud's stream itself. So instead of doing a video where I'm just, like, celebrating and saying, yay, Plague Moth is gone, wahoo, I figured I'd do a completely different video about a completely different subject. Uh, this thing with Queeman lying on the stream, uh, it's not really a big deal. It's not a huge thing. Uh, he could have just made a mistake, but, you know, he then doubled down. And then he tripled down when I questioned him about it later. I didn't lie on the Chud stream. I've seen your comments, Slime Beast. At the very start, Jar says, uh, I think, not Jar, sorry. TCR says, uh, I, I think I know why, why Jar's defending Cine. Uh, it's because he's kind of done the same thing. So that's where he compared, he compared to Cine. Just, uh, just helping you out there. Go back and check the video. Your sped friend is a fucking retard. Totally embarrassed himself on that stream. And then spent the rest of the time stammering. I'll do better slime beast. We'll play it right now. 
We'll play it right now. I learned a lot. Anyway, uh, Bo, this is gay uh, shit. Bo is a Get this gay shit out of here. Yeah, um, there's probably a reason why he's defending. Um, I, I don't think Jar realizes so, that... Uh, there's probably a reason why he's defending Cinny, right? We all agree that's what he's talking about there. There's probably a reason why he's defending Sick in, in square brackets. Cinny. Uh, asking for sending, um, I, I don't think Jar realizes that uh, asking for softcore porn from minors is like a problem. Uh, he's done that himself, apparently. He's done that himself. So, Cinny did this thing. I know why he's defending Cinny. Cinny did this thing. He's done that himself. Yeah, where in that was the uh, grooming and all the stuff you talked about uh, later in the stream? I didn't hear all those other things you brought up and claimed that TCR said. Uh, I don't hear him comparing the two of them on the whole and saying that Just a Robot did all of the things or exactly the things or most of the things that Cine Bear did. I heard him say one specific thing, which is get lewd drawings from a minor. I heard one thing that he said, and that thing is true and what actually happened. So, Queeman, you absolute daft tosser, what the fuck are you even talking about? What you just played on your own stream to answer me in the chat proves you lied. That, that is what I said. What I said is that, Jar came on, that TCR came on and said that Jar was defending Cine because he had done the same thing. And here we have TCR saying Jar is defending Cine because he has done the same thing. So, I don't know if you've got, like, a mental disability or something. I think it's very likely, but it's, it's there. So, have fun. Enjoy. Lying to me, lying to his audience on the stream, saying, no, no, TCR did say that, and then, you know, just, he doubled and tripled down, so I'm not thinking it's a mistake at this point. So that kind of erases the goodwill if it was a mistake and he, you know, just misheard or something. But, yeah, it's something that doesn't really matter. But I wanted to talk about something different from Plague Moth anyway, and there you go.